and we ask that your Holy Spirit will be here because where two or three are gathered, there it shall be in the midst of your people. You are Jehovah Emmanuel, the great I am. We exalt your name in this hour and we dispel every other voice that is not from you and only your voice shall speak in the name of Jesus. And we ask that the full presence of God that melts hearts will draw us closer to you and that when your word is preached, all the hearts that are hard and stone will be melted away that will finally prepare us for that final day when our own race shall be completed and then we shall come to meet with you in your eternal glory. And I ask that, Lord, you put down who are the strongholds and let your name be a refuge. For those that seek comfort, let your name be a refuge for the family. Let your name be a refuge and a place where a hiding place where we can run to, a strong tower where your presence keeps us. We do not keep ourselves. A voice that breaks the cedars of Lebanon shall be heard in this place that will bring restoration of all the hope that is lost and anxiety will melt away and that fear will be dispelled and faith will come into place. So come Holy Spirit and quicken our minds and set our hearts to obey you through Jesus Christ our Lord, I pray. Amen. Glad to ask that you take our seats and take this opportunity to welcome each of us that have come to this uh, uh, service when we are celebrating the life of our mother, uh, the late Bafunda Mary, Jenny. Uh, and uh, I'd like to just say this at the beginning that uh, just take note of your property because uh, sometimes you don't know who is sitting next to you and uh, just take note uh, of what you have, your mobile phones, your iPads, your wallet, just keep a watch over that as we come before the presence of God. And I'd like to, my name is Reverend Hilary Jaffa, Assistant Provost of Saints Cathedral Kampala. I'd like to introduce our brother, uh, our, our Reverend Canon Alan Wessinger, who's going to be our preacher, and uh, as well as the choir that is here, he's been supporting us uh, since last night, as well as this night. And all other dignitaries that are here, we welcome you to Saints Cathedral, and uh, thank you for coming to support our brother and all other people here that have gathered. The Lord be with you. John chapter 11, verse 25 to 26, Jesus said, I am the resurrection and I am the life. He that believes in me, even though he dies, yet shall he live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. The Bible says in Psalm 46, verse 1, that God is our refuge and strength and ever present help in times of trouble. And St. Paul writing to the church in Rome, Romans chapter 8, verse 38 and 39, he said, I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor anything to come, nor height, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ our Lord. We want to take a moment to reflect on these words. I want to ask each one of us and just think about our own race. Just close your eyes and ask, ask God to forgive you. Moments like this bring to us remembrance of who we are. We are made of clay and God is the potter. And that meeting point, the focal point is the place at which you are accepting or you are rejecting, asking to forgive you of anything. Maybe you have walked in a way that is wayward, your life is in a mess, maybe you do not understand anymore that you are the temple of the Holy Spirit, maybe you no longer hear the voice of God anymore, the voice of the world is so much in you, and yet on the final day, the trumpet will be sounded, and then the same ears that we are not using right now, which are spiritual ears, will be the one that are supposed to pick that voice, that sound of the trumpet, 
Ask the Lord, Lord, have mercy upon me. If there is any sin in your life right now, He is merciful. The Bible says the steadfast of the Lord, you know, the steadfast, the mercies, they endure forever. That love that God has can deal with anything else that has been a barrier to your life. Ask Him to cleanse you, that as you come here, you will hear the voice of God. The point is not the person that has departed. The point is you and I that are still running the race. Ask God for the grace that you will be able to make it on the final day. Father, thank you because uh, your word is very clear. And you have invited us here that our hearts may be drawn closer to you. We have not come to lament over our mother. We have come to celebrate that life as we also are challenged to focus our eyes on you, to look to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, the one who created us. Lord, forgive us. Grace us. Each one of us is an opportunity Lord, to come to you, we have risen enough. We are now coming to say we are coming back to that place of humility. We are bending down that our hearts may be ministered to, that our own race will gather grace. So this afternoon, Lord, you sit. Let the Holy Spirit bring conviction in every heart that has surrendered themselves. Let that heart surrender and submit to the voice of the one that will finally blow the trumpet, the final call. And we pray that we shall be there in the amongst the people where all nations shall be gathered through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We want to stand and we proclaim Psalm 23, the words of Psalm 23. If it can be projected. Uh, it's not in the booklet, but I want to ask the uh, person that is up there to just project it as we declare the words of Psalm 23. Let's, let's rise up as we declare those words and uh, as we say together, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your Lord and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely, goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. And we can take our seats as I welcome. Brother, the MC to lead us in the order of play the riff.
from the beginning that we have quite a number of them. We shall try save time because we are constrained by time and we will uh, try to be brief. So we'll start and the first brief will be that of general servitude. Yes, Thank you. And then the next shall be the other siblings of Sabiti, Arsi, Yukumar Charles, and Abad Kumara Bachtrana. Arsi, Kandit. Family. I am supposed to be there, so I don't want to it. It's not done. Thank you. The Chico's family. Mark, 
Uganda Police Force Thank you, young police. You don't serve it. It's a media to form a place. Then we we'll call the NEC family, National Enterprise Corporation, where service is working. Thank you. I have the UPDF family. Looks like the representative of the CDF is not yet here, so I've done that. Go back to the family. I have a read from General Moskini of Gala.
Eterno tumkunde. Followed by the Rubhibia family. The Rubhibia family. Then we have a read from Avonway Club, Investment Club. Then we have uh, Hardware World. We have 
حسب كتاب الاستنس They are reminding me how to do a world, but we have done. Yes, and I have the gentleman Kaliko are waiting for you, so they read for UPDF presented by the course. Chief of Defense Forces. Can they work it? Um, there's a brief for Minister of Defense and Veteran Affairs. Apologies, concerned. Um, we have uh, Honorable Rose Hero. In the family, uh, I think in the interest of time, others we can do data from the mind. Okay, there are two, sorry, his own says Mother's Union. Okay, Charles and Pat have not laid their reef. You can come and lay your reef. Jim Shandy tells me where you are. Thank you very much. Let us pray. King of glory, we thank you because it is you that is lifted. Your name, Jesus, that went down and came out and the power of the resurrection that equips us and strengthens us. We now pray that as we hear your word, we will be strengthened because your word is not empty, it builds us up. And that Lord Heaven the Father, it will repair all the broken parts of our hearts, just as your word says that you mend the broken hearted. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I'm going to request.
that we read the first reading. Uh, if the, the person that is going to read uh, is around, please come as we take a reading uh, this afternoon. Second Timothy chapter four, verse seven. Each trigger, it's because I've watched a mirror, which are the guy who. Second reading is from the book of Revelation, chapter 14, verse 13. And it goes, And I heard a voice from heaven saying, Write this, Blessed are the dead who die in the road henceforth. Blessed indeed, says the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, for their deeds for them. That's what it's called. stand and affirm our faith in the words of uh, the Apostles' Creed. It's not in the moment, but I would like to ask the projector, uh, the person that is on the screen, to help us with the Apostles' Creed as we affirm our faith together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the Great of Heaven and Earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered and was transpired, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He descended into heaven and he seated at the right hand of the Father. He came again and judged the living and the dead. I live in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints. Forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life of the Amen. We may take our seats as we come to the time of offering. May I request that uh, we give our offering and um, the choir will be ministering. There's a basket just close to where you are. Just walk. The basket that is going to be placed near where you are. There's a basket in the middle, there's a basket on the other side, there are two at the back. Just take your offering and give as we uh, require the means is necessary.
the spirit, when you die, depending on where you belong, because whether you like it or not, my brothers and sisters, there is heaven and there is hell. Where there is heaven, there is hell. I am not condemning anyone, I am not judgmental. But where there is heaven, and you believe it, there must be hell. Now, when you die, your spirit goes to hell or to heaven. Now, Mary's spirit is in heaven. I want to affirm that for you. We have the body. And that is what you people call legacy. Now, those of you who are here who are in business and who are born again, if you demystify capital, the word capital, because the moment I talk about capital, you, do, you rush the money. You have social capital, you have intellectual capital, you have physical capital in the whole buildings. You have financial capital in a lot of money on your account. You have intellectual capital. You have spiritual capital. Now listen to this. Now, Mary and others, whom I know very well, invested in spiritual capital. Spiritual capital are the values that drive you. She has been able to live a value Driven life in heaven. Like, I think it was a quick one, not about purpose driven life. But I think you can use many words purpose driven marriage, purpose driven church, purpose driven life. I think this, this lady, the way I know her, can't do it. I'm not a moon. 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 Mary is not dead. She is actually alive. The Bible is very clear. Hebrews 11.4 Ah, what we tell us about it? No, we are free. No, it's gone. Very clear. No, we are free. And why is Abel talking? Because of the legacy that she has had left behind. Why is Mary talking? So we can read it. Hebrews, those of you who have the Bible, Hebrews 11, verse 4. Let me read the Yamura Chica, which I have here for you. And then you know, because I am not speaking in abstract, I have to speak with evidence. And I can see lawyers, their eyes are embroidered in me, like common man when he said that it is perverse to start a play made up of, made up of kings and cardinals with embroidered eyes. I can see you are looking at me. There is evidence. Verse 4, chapter 11. And I'm just going to read part B. Kaga wopi chesa. No wabe ya waya fi na chikama. Now, you talk mugashona, mugashona watafuna ni magana. So Mary is dead. We have the body. The value in her, we live forever because she believed in Jesus Christ who defeated death, whose victory abides forever. And if you believe in Christ, you don't die, you live forever. Because when you are in a place which is a home for the redeemed, where there is eternal presence of God, where you don't lack anything, all things are supplied where victory defeats all evil, then you are living in a world that does not die. Can we have a witcher, sir? No, we are free. Nachika. Mary is a woman of God. Mary is a woman of the city in Yavada. Mary is a woman of Shagra. I will walk over Shagra to you. Can we get some kama? No, we are free. Nachika. That's the assurance I want to give you. Now, what do you know? What do you say? Jeno sabiti na walumu na wawe na wakuru wawe na wali ahana na wadharo na wanyanya po Mary is not dead. Now those of you who are believers, let me assure you, 
It is so disheartening that we believe and we accept Christ as our personal Savior and Lord. Believe me or not, celebrating the life of Aaron Wednesday, celebrating the because that's the word we use. And we have to be very careful, we have to mark the words celebrating. We actually have to celebrate. And I want to assure you we are celebrating the life of Mary. Because her legacy we live forever. I have a Bible in terms of if I read Romans as I am, Romans chapter 8, verse 38 to 30 to 30 to 39, just two verses in Romans, it says, Romans chapter 8, verse 38 to 30 to 39. And I can read for you. Then I will because there is a lot of that I can see. The entire viewer dot com me am on BBC born before computers. So I can room ni manyapo kakani ubuzi kandel ni tiba gamburi nyangure najat shura ya makumi ya shatano mna shura mna ni shule pete to shoro mwa shatano mna kuta mwa shatano najat. Kanto mtira mwa shatano mcha. Kukumri yewe viona singwi renaungwa no pichira ho aha uo uwatu kwezi. Kukumri yewe viona wiki tumbo ufungu mwukwe. Tumuru kuroku mwukaji. Numuri rewa kita wa rukwara maria. Numuri mwuru fungu mwukwe mwukaji. Taro kutemba na tuena tutuwele, tuena tulijeza, asuche nilia kuzura, ama rano majeno mtukura nturanga yesu, kwa tu inama tuko, ama kwa na maona upi ajira jina jara zarasi, ama zire mwuru na afire, akarara, kukaka inama tuko, akama tuko gazo, naraba nana zarasi, kwa kwa na ushe nijezo mwuru kore, ofira atakone namba, ofira taka, ofu majiza kafa, Omtawa na mtsikiru mkahulire, akaza mkwetera kanyachai na majenziwe, akiza kurashari na mwiyata haa, utahiriti, akumra, ukwejejejeje, tuwa mtumushe mechereza, mbaibu ni mwere kutamza, kumkumu yeyo yona, tusi mwire, na unu kuchira. Aha woku, uwatu mwze. Aha woku wa, ni manjera ju, mwoku kufwa, Nukuka kwa amagara Narwa amareka Nari ya matutejeka Nari ya mwuhu Nari ya mtaruhu Nari ya mshuburuzi Nari ya mbamari mwa Ure mwa wemi Nari ya mwa mwa mwusumu Na mwa echini Nukuka kwa echini chona Echani Halo echo kumasa Kutansa Nukuna kwa rana Ukulumu Kristo Yesu kama wintu Haleluya There is nothing that can separate us from God If I may use English And we know I want you to listen to this vividly And we know And we are convinced That nothing can separate us From the love of God Even death cannot separate us The phrase Nothing can I want you to understand it very clearly here Nothing can gives us confidence that the future is God's is in God's hands. So Paul does not hint on that something that something that is in such a circumstances might be able, whether it is death, whether it is uh, hardships, whether it is envy, he does not hint on any circumstances that might be able to separate us from God. When we know God like Mary did, our future is very secure. Our future is very secure. Even in death, we, we, we will be conquerors because we will go with the Lord. When facing persecution, when facing other hardships, when we are facing all the things and we keep our head in Jesus, God is going to be with us. So I want to assure General Sabinti, General Sabinti, 
I've always told him that I'm an uncle. He has always been refusing. He told me what he got me. So when I teach him, he's a good guy. We can't do good guy. We don't have. When can I get a good job? 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 When can I get a good
what are your expectations home for the kingdom? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let's have ourselves and just respond to this message. You'll be here and you don't really understand that life is spiritual or you don't care or you've been negligent about matters that have to do with spiritual things. And this very day, as you are looking at me right now, or a moment later from now, you will find yourself, you don't have life anymore. For none of us can determine what state or condition we are to be, not even in the next one minute. Maybe you are here, you've taken a lot of things for granted, you don't care about God, you've been disobedient to his word, you have despised the word of God. Maybe you are here, or for you, your case is that you hear people talk about it. You've tried to believe here and there, but the world has pulled you back to the state of Adam. Or you could be here, and you don't know which side. You have never reflected on spiritual matters. Your own understanding of life and living is that one is born, he goes to a good school, and uh, he finds a job, he gets connected, and after that, he marries, or has a wife, children, whatever it is, is successful in your own definition of success, and then you die. If you are here and you have these perspectives, the Lord is speaking to you. The choice is yours. Whether you believe it or you don't believe it doesn't change the facts. Whether you believe that there's gravity or not, it remains that when you climb up there and you release yourself, you fall down. Father, we commit ourselves into your hands. Our hope is built on nothing less than Jesus. He is the founder. He is the author of the life, every life ever will lived. He is ascribed to that connection between that life and Jesus. So this is why we are coming to you. I present this your children before you. Let the foundation of the Holy Spirit begin now, so that at the end of the day, it shall not be said that none of them knew. As that man that heard voices from the end of eternity, as that man that went down and saw Abraham and Lazarus, the poor man, as the event is recorded, that he appealed and said, let somebody descend from here and go and tell them about what I'm going through. And the voice came out and said, they have prophets there. They are those that God has positioned to speak to them. Let them listen to them. Father, the ticket is provided for, but it's up to us to go on the journey or to stay back. So Lord, we pray that you will speak and continue to speak so that at the final day, when judgment comes, it shall be shown to those that have chosen the path of wickedness. And if you are here, you want to give your life to Jesus Christ. You are saying, I'm tired of the world, I'm tired of sin, I'm tired of walking up and down with men and women. I'm tired of cheating, uh, you know, uh, uh, my wife. I'm, I'm tired of cheating with my husband. I'm tired of doing dubious things. Lift up your hand wherever you are. I know you are laughing. I'm not laughing. I'm telling these serious things, what God has sent me to do. When we come
come for funeral services, it's not about the person that has died. That one has done their race. For every race, there is grace provided for it. Your own case might be different. I've done my job. I enter my car, go home. I am born again. I know the Lord. But the Lord needs your heart right now. The Lord needs your heart. He wants to save you. He's calling you before the final trumpet is blown. Before that final hour and will come, he needs to save you. Let's sing the song, I Surrender. I'm going to provide that opportunity for the people that want to do so. And Jesus said that when you go to a town and you have preached the gospel and the people do not accept it, go to the streets of the town and then dust off the feet from the, 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 the dust of, of from your feet and it shall be evidence on the final day for those that heard the gospel. I submit. Oh. Jesus, what he did on the cross, and he went down and came up that we might be established, that we may walk by faith, that we may live again. And so, Lord, I ask that you will take over the hearts. These are your people you created. I surrender them to you. Everything that has come out from here will be planted in their hearts. Lord, that the decision is left to them to reject Aaron. I'm now going to uh, ask the MC to come. The rules are that if there are 10 people that are going to speak, uh, I think we had agreed five minutes for each. If you come to speak, please do not invite another person to also come and speak. You come, it is you that has been given the opportunity to speak. You come, give your speech, and then you can go and sit so that you can also give an opportunity to others who also wish to speak. So that you can also make it for the video that is tonight as well. Everything needs to be done in time so that our brothers and sisters don't get so much tired and all that is overwhelming around them. You come, all at the time you have been given, don't invite another person uh, who is not of the problem as well as the MC will help us to check all this. And if there are letters that have come of condolence, I'm going to request you to just mention those particular uh, uh, people, you mention the specific uh, things that we agreed, and then acknowledge them in 
do not have to read the whole over this. Thank you very much, Charles. Can you please appreciate Charles for leading us well? Thank you. You know, you people who sit that side, you don't know how hot this side is. I, was, I had an opportunity to sit here. As you can see, it's not the other side, but I'm sweating. These people have been pulling me this side. I don't know what the intention is, but we thank God for that. Thank God for the message. Um, fellow celebrants, I want to request that you allow me not to go into protocol. Because all of you here are very, very important, extremely dear to the family and service and, and, and uh, when I tried to raise it, but at least I mentioned service chiefs, which is uh, complicated for me, but I will try and do my best. Our ministers, we have uh, Honorable Minister, Honorable Rose. and integrity. We have members of parliament, Honorable Tinyamatama, and then Honorable Naomi Kawashara, my member of parliament. We have uh, the chief of defense forces here with us, and therefore the UPDF is introduced. The summit of colleagues have been uh, well represented here. They are here. We have the the IGP and several senior police officers, directors, and all your friends in the former workplace. We have uh, the Director General of External Security, Ambassador Chetia, the team. Of course, the Amount Service Chiefs, but that's where I also do my day to day. We have uh, judges here, we have uh, Justice, uh, as name was, uh, Justice, Justice Baguma, you are most welcome. And you can see how complicated it is when you start, you can't stop. So I will stop here. So that I am not introduced, please forgive me. So we'll go into our speeches, and they are very brief and few. So we'll not take a lot of time. So I'm going to invite Charles. Charles Mojohat uh, Mukuru. Mukai Kuru, please come and make your remarks. Thank you. 
Тяра ветеров. Муга берегу не тюша. Муга берегу, а кайли мазь не иди. Тяра, а калаху, а касинга укори, кардиану ветеров укори, порно. Тяра, а вели на каркане сенга. Mwenekari, njizari waka tu, mwenekari sana watu wengi mnoma, kumkusa kwa ya wama atukulga, alenji tu ino mzari. So, nchi musimbera, mbanyara umu oyu, waru, ima atu hii. Mchara, tukwenezi chiti msa, Tu yaha, kutsidirewa, tu yaha, kanyasati, last one way to the day, kumaya yaha. Abojo, na nidanga, kutuzarwa na hume, yuliche hume, pare, mbatu ikana, saviti, lejerano, kanya. Dena wana vitu, kumiche hume, kwa wabare, Yes, I don't want that. 
kuwa kichiroku nyoko na kichiroku kwa fumba first time ndo wana wa zekoro na ya jasina na mishwa kijowani na jodi kama wangu ya so mbaya ni mbaya ni kutukuna mbaya ni yoko mkago nizaka ka nyamutse sabi ke no mukirana kuba asimbere ho batero nka ubwo bakanane n'ikiza kuri aba bantu barwanze mawe babrebera ubwo muri kimwe kicyo atahire so to asimba ko
So 
from my child to Patrick, Charles, Alice, you know, the Sabbath, is to write something about your heritage it, around service. So my father, who is close to 96 now, there is something together, I said it last night, uh, from early 50s, 
Abisi, uh, from to go to Washabira, the headquarters, Wonjera, and I talked about General Moreta's dad, who supervised my father in 1953 when he was the Gomorrah chief. And again, you can see General Moreta. So you should not be surprised about these things. These are values you get from your parents, and I'm so grateful and I thank God that today you live with those values and you continue to serve. So may her soul rest in time with this. Thank you very much. I'm in turn. There is a history. It was more elaborate last night when we conversed. I'm to see how the pain and for like um, a distance of 80 kilometers on foot. Because well, my question was, how many in this generation? There's a puzzle code in which in the code.
friendship, and support. This must no doubt be a very difficult time for you. And while there, while there are no words to, to ease your pain, please know that our thoughts and prayers are with you. To the rest of us, celebrants, I say the greatest compliment to someone who has passed away is to keep their memory, memory alive. Make as a family, as a population and family, has contributed 13.7 million towards the expenses of value. Again, please, we the family accept our most sincere condolences and wishes that you and your family and can find some comfort as we deal with the loss of your money. We thank you. I want to end by saying that Dr. Samata, as was mentioned here, is a very helpful leader. And since he arrived at NEC, he has changed things, things around in very business. And where it is, it's one of the best subsidiaries under NEC. And NEC is very important. We thank you for your contribution. We thank you for looking after the man. They have so many lessons in their lives. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow mothers, I want to start by saying that the uh, general society will feel so sorry. Uh, but also to say that you are privileged that you had your mother for this long. Actually, I was surprised that you are so long in the of the family. Those days really gave a lot of time to work. They gave it quite a bit of 
time and they were scattered, they would be thrown in different corners of what was yet a small jurisdiction, but at the same time, when you consider the means of transport, it was very, very distant. So when products in Kalawana were at
Maso, Yuri Nindra, Simon Kama, and
where there are many, many differences in this world. But I think our money doesn't have to worry about that because she has lived a fulfilled and valuable life. This has been attested by those who have spoken. It can also be physically attested by the presence of this so many great people here. They wouldn't be here if she has not been uh, a fulfilled life and the fruits that we see uh, in front of us. So we will uh, continue to pray for the Majeli family, for the general summit, to come to terms with the big gap that our mother is leaving behind. Obviously, it will never be filled. And uh, that God comforts uh, this family as you come to terms with the loss of our mother, as it was written, I think, in the, math, in the book of Matthew, chapter 5, that blessed are those who feel the loss of their dear one, for they will be comforted by God. Sadly, I also want to add in my voice, I'm thanking you for looking after our mom, at the time she had breathed her last. I also want to thank the church for organizing uh, this uh, service and everybody else who was involved in organizing this uh, great funeral service. May the good Lord uh, rest in her soul in the time of peace. The, the new PDF is going to uh, contribute um, 15 million shillings to uh, the value of costs of our land. And the office of the Chief of the Defense Forces uh, has contributed 5 million shillings.
Last Friday, I was here at the same time to talk about my nephew, and I had no words to say. But today, I think we have a lot to say about the people. This uh, old lady was the youngest of my aunties. And uh, she had a very great attributes. <laughs> she was a very good personality. She was good outside and inside. She exhibited love for relatives and those who were very close to her. But in her journey, I want to thank Sarah and my wife, particularly my wife, because <coughs> I had a friend, and I had a friend from Mr. Gwena. One time he said a program to me, Mr. Gwena, um, Thank you. 
yebare kumbela kuno bicho yebare kumbona yebare kumbeza yebare kumbona mchara rukunde yebare inaha mchara ninga shaba zeri zomu mstina mreme kumka mchara mundeme kikwasa kuje explain ya mna jiza hakuboka mkunda hamichara ya mkunda yu didn't do anything to the contract yebare mnoka hama kumbisho Aguinta e basamo sa sereja o William e a Brescia, mas thank you so much. Há algum outro chá, tu pode ter um chá que tenha na minha chácara, na rua do Vigil, que se deu lá. Sad, o que é muito bem, muito bem. I'll start by saying tudo o que sabe, mas eu não tenho nada para repetir o que ela celebrants have said. But first of all, I will start by thanking my dear wife Esther for being my sister and for really uh, being there for Jara from the time she got the stroke. I'll explain that later. Up to now, so I want to thank you for my heart. It's really my heart to thank people, which I think is culture. Uh, yes, I, I, I normally take it for granted. There are words that I fear, like thank you, like I love you. This one is one. We, we, we show these things by action. And uh, you can imagine that some, I think it was having to. Reverend Kano, from Mutumba there, you start saying I love you, then there's a problem. <laughs> so uh, I, I, I thank you. <laughs>
our mother passed through. But also before, because most of you have created time to call, to pass by. We have a lot of photos in our album. People coming, spending time with her. And thank you for really giving her what she gave to the world love. So we thank you. You know, the handicap should be more because they know. Yes, by setting aside the time, it's not that you are just uh, doing anybody a favor, it's a show of love, and we really take it with all the goodness it deserves. Having thanked all of you, I also want to thank the UPDF, the Uganda Police Force. by the CTF himself, Uganda Police Force, led by the Deputy Institute of General Police, and our friends from the different courts that you saw here. So I have seen, I can call a name from this side and the other side. I think I know all of them, except Mother's Union. <laughs> the only thing I know about Mother's Union is that they gave us a kid. When my wife joined, they gave us lunch. So whenever I see that dress, I associate it with food. <laughs> so I want to thank you. But I also thank you for coming because my mother, our own mother, was a member of the Mother's Union for a very long time. Now, I will mention a few things about our mother. Very few. In the interest of time, it was allowed to get married when we were that young. So she was basically 14. And she told us when she got married, uh, so she was very young. But they had the habit of pumping milk. They give you a lot of milk, you, you grow very fast. <laughs> so she produced at the right time. That's why all of us are healthy, except that some of us have bald heads. <laughs> Uh, she was, she had a very important gift that I wanted to highlight here, which I have not, which we have not said. She was a fine artist. Fine artist. She would use her hands. You see there she draws you properly with her. She molds you using her hands. And as Canon Aaron said, no, I think it was Honorable Bright. She knew how to write, to read the Bible, but she didn't know how to write. I don't know how, but she was a real fine artist. I remember the first time when the general Tumine came home, he just went around the house picking every piece, and I'm sure those photos must be at their home. So she was a fine artist, a very loving person, and a strict disciplinarian. She was like a Tanzanian instructor. You know those Tanzanians, they, they would make you many things without touching you. They say, well, see that Musa. But her eye would penetrate you. She looks at you, you know that you are really in trouble. The only bodily harm she has to get you by the side and squeeze you properly so that your bad habits can all fly out. Very stupid. And loved people very much. I want to thank our mother spent 55 years in marriage because our father died in 2007 and she got saved in 1974. So I think that is almost 29 years. So she has lived her life. Uh, any problem, she went to when we were young, she had passed us in getting saved. So I remember when we were very small, we were always saved with this. So you, of course, with this, I go on and give the sky, I am very sorry. It is a little bit of a But after some time, we, uh, we all had divergent opinions about the things, but the divergent opinions were largely based on laziness because we couldn't match up to their 
standards, because these people were very special. Um, now, we, my brothers, the ones I am, that are biological, and the family where I married from, uh, the family that you see here, so everybody rushed. Uh, I had started a little bit, uh, I did cry, because big men don't cry. I only shed tears. I remember, but this is as I was saying now. So, she spent roughly eight years down, but progressively getting uh, complicated and in terms of being not well. There is a girl, uh, Sheila, I don't know where she is, her niece, sorry, her granddaughter, she spent a lot of time with us, I think around the first four years or so, until she also left in addition to the nurses. So I want to thank her, specifically the nurses and the doctor, called Dr. Sid Toreko, who always sometimes walk on the border, for the border to come and administer medicine.
will go home. He gets to his Wera Trading Center, turn left, it's so just a short distance. You get there, that's the home. We we'll spend a night at the vigil. Then on Sunday, we want to start early so that people are able to come back. We think we'll start about 10 or 11, so that by 3 p.m., we are done to allow people to travel back. I thank you for listening to me, to us, thank you for being very, very good. If anything needs to go right, please accept my apologies. Thank you. We are going to use the, our all of service as we end our service. And I think I uh, would like to, to be excused especially by the Honorable Minister of State for Ethics and Integrity. And the rest who don't know, see the problem is that you people in Parliament you have not discussed one important thing that this country has no national language. And because we don't have a national language, we have to use our own uh, local languages. Because for you think that English is the national language, but I think that's an official language, but not a national language. You know, those are two different things. So if we had a national language, this sort of service would be one language so that you can make a job and the Manyangori would understand. So Honorable Rose Akelo, my minister, who is my friend, I beg your pardon. We are going to use the Manyangori Chika uh, on page 9, all of us, page 9, those of you who are out of service, in Zak Shoma. So to Zak Shoma, Kshavesha Ramakamoitu, and Papro Wamoenda, when I was a young man, I said that the
that spirit. Provide us with a gentle message. We pray for flying anointing, even those who are flying and those who are traveling by land. That spirit be with us now and forever. Amen. Thank you very much. Can Alan, we want to rise as we ask the choir to give us the final hymn. Let us arise as we go out. God bless.